Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful square root math problem, which is whole square root of 9 plus square root of 64 plus 16 times square root of 12. Now, how can we solve this math problem? First of all, we can write this 64 as the product of 16 times 4. So therefore, this, this number will become this will become whole square root of 9 plus square root of 64 can be written as 16 times 4 which is 64 plus 16 times square root of 12 here in these two terms this 16 is common so we will take out common from this square root so this will become whole square root of 9 plus square root of let us take out 16 commas so this will become 16 times 4 plus square root of 12 here inside this square root we will use two results so here we will use this one result we can write square root of a times b is square root of a times square root of b and we can also write this square root of 12 as 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3 and this can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 3 so here square root of 4 is simply 2 times square root of 3 so here the value of square root of 12 is 2 times square root of 3 so here we replace this square root of 12 with 2 times square root of 3 and we will replace this whole square root with this result. So this will become whole square root of 9 plus this will become square root of 16 times square root of this one number. 4 plus square root of 12 but this 12 is equal to 2 times square root of 3. So this will become 2 times square root of 3. Now next we can write this number as this will become 9 plus no square root of 16 is simply 4 times square root of here we can write this power as 3 plus 1 plus 2 times square root of 3 whole square root. Now here we will use a result inside this square root therefore we can write here We can write a as square root of a whole square. This is because here the square and square root can cancel each other and it gives him a bag. So here we will replace this 3 with square root of 3 whole square. So this will become whole square root of 9 plus 4 times. This will become square root of 3 will become square root of 3 whole square plus we can write this one as one square plus and this can be written as two times square root of three times one so here this is an algebraic identity a square plus b square plus two times a b so here inside this square root we will use this one algebraic identity a square plus b square plus 2 times a b which is equal to a plus b whole square so using this algebraic identity here our a is square root of 3 and our b is 1 so this will become whole square root of 9 plus power and this will become square root of 3 plus 1 whole square whole square root so here this square and this square root will be cancelled so this will become only square root of 3 plus 1 so further this will become whole square root of 9 plus here only power is left and here is only square root of 3 plus 1 so here we multiply this power with these two numbers so this will become 4 times square root of 3 plus 4 times 1 is power so next this will become here 
this is 9 plus 4 which is 13 so this will become square root of 13 plus and here we can let this 4 times square root of 3 is 4 times square root of 3 the 4 is same as 2 times 2 times square root of 3 and here this is 2 and we can write this 2 as square root of 4 times square root of 3 now using this one result we can write this as this will become 2 times square root of 4 times 3 which is equal to 2 times square root of 4 times 3 is 12 so here the value of 4 times square root of 3 is same as 2 times square root of 12 so here we will replace this with 2 times square root of 12 and next we can write this 13 as whole square root of 13 can be written as 12 plus 1 plus 2 times square root of 12 and we can also write this 12 as whole square root of 12 can be written as square root of 12 whole square this is because this square and square root can cancel each other and this gives him 12 back plus 1 can be written as 1 square plus and this can be written as 2 times square root of 12 times 1 now again this is an algebraic identity this one identity a square plus b square plus 2 times a which is equal to a plus b whole square so we'll use that identity again here so this will become whole square root of here our a is square root of 12 and our b is 1 whole square and this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become only square root of 12 plus 1 square root of 12 plus 1 and next we can add the square root of 12 as square root of 4 times 3 which is 12 plus 1 now further this can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 3 plus 1 the square root of 4 is simply 2 so this is 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 so this is our simplified form which is our answer and value of this interesting square root math problem